stands for New Mexico. You're watching KLB4 News at 6.30. So on average, I think we like to brag that New Mexico has more than 300 days of sunshine, and many people take advantage of them, like Ryan, enjoying all things outdoors for most of the year. Yeah, when, when you can, of course. Yeah. And with all that sunshine, there's more people investing in solar power to run their homes. Seems like a safe bet in a state that gets a lot of sunshine. But as Tamara Lopez was finding out, one solar panel company isn't a sure thing. They are not f fulfilling the promise they've made to customers. Tamara, you've been tracking a suddenly shut down local company. What's the update here? Ryan, last week, New Mexico Solar Group announced it was shutting its doors for good, and a lot of customers say they were caught very off guard about the news. Some told us they had just made down payments or signed off on pretty big loans for their solar panels just weeks before the shutdown. Now, those people say they're out thousands of dollars, and most don't even have the solar panels that they paid for to be installed. Others say that their solar panels were installed but just never hooked up, so now they're stuck paying for solar panels and their regular power bills on top of all of that. All of them say they could not get a hold of anyone from the company to get answers. Because of the abrupt shutdown, customers say they filed complaints with the Attorney General's office. Attorney General Raul Torres says his office has been noticing a big uptick in complaints about shady business practices by various solar panel companies. And some customers say they received an email that says the company was not able to keep up its cash flow. And now Torres says his office is filing a lawsuit against New Mexico Solar Group. The action that we've taken is specifically focused on trying to identify um, any customers who have given over money for services that have not been completed and to see if we can if we can come up with a solution that gets at least some of those funds back into the hands of consumers. We've taken an, a pretty aggressive approach because I think it's incredibly important in New Mexico, this is a state that has abundant natural resources. We've got a lot of, um, I think, uh, an ability to be at the forefront of the solar installation business and using solar. We've reached out to New Mexico Solar Group as well, but we were not able to get a hold of anyone from the company either. And tonight on the Night Beat, we are going to be taking a closer look at the lawsuit and what the AG's office says needs to be done to protect future solar business consumers. Ryan. Yeah, Tamara, thank you.